There are things that you come across that will completely change the way you think about something. Your perspective. I did a review on this knife right here. This Gurkha. And it's the Three Chiri. It's a Kukri. Just an incredible knife. I'll, I'll have the review down in the uh, description below. This knife in particular changed the way that I look at large field knives. I'd always wanted a, a Kukri. And uh, of course with all the uh, history behind it. But once I started using it, it changed everything that I think about modern knives. Now, the one thing, though, about this knife, it has a sp specific purposes. And it's 12 inches. The blade's 12 inches. So it's a pretty large knife. And really, after this, I thought, you know, I've had a lot of different kinds of knives. Uh, the SOGs, I've had some of those diving knives, Ger uh, Gerber field knives, of course, K-Bar, the Glock bayonet, all kind of different knives that I've had a lot of experience with, and I like them. Cold steel, a lot of different knives. But once I use something of this quality, I've had to take a second look at some of my knives. And so what I decided was I wanted something a little smaller that I could use. I do a lot of work around our house. I'm building a, a, a pathway down to the creek in a camping area. And so sometimes an axe or a hatchet or even a machete just doesn't fit the bill. And one thing that I found was something like this really does. But this is large. And this is the Frank Bowie. I would never have known about this knife had I not started looking at these kukris. Frank does import these knives, but he hand makes this. Of course, this is very reminiscent of from the movie The Hunted the Tom Brown Tracker. But I'm telling you, man, this knife is unbelievably incredible. Full tang, a very unique design, and just an incredible tool and fighting knife. makes about four of these a month and as you can see right here he has the knives by hand logo etched into the blade it's incredibly sharp he hand forges these in fact if you go to his website which of course I'll have it linked you can see where he's actually doing this by hand incredible grip hardwood grips look at that tang look how thick that tang is the spine how thick the belly coming up here of course my fingerprints are all over it but this knife is just unbelievable now honestly I was doing some comparisons and looking at some different knives this knife runs hundred and fifty dollars a handmade knife that is unbelievable this is his custom-made sheath that he also makes now the knife doesn't come with a sheath this is forty bucks but I'm going to tell you what, man, 40 bucks is an incredible deal. If you just looked at leather holsters, look at that D-ring on the end. One of the things about this, whole, this sheath as well is that it's, it can be carried in two different ways. Of course, it has the speed release here, spring speed release. It can fit in your belt this way, or it can fit in your belt this way. So there are some different options with this sheath system. Now I also got this as well, this extension, which fits here and then you can ride it low on your leg like a gunslinger. This is just another option. But I'm going to tell you what guys, if you like good quality knives or if you don't have a good quality knife and you need one, I want to highly recommend this blade. It is unbelievable. Now again, the qualities are limited, extremely limited. So if you want one, I definitely would urge you to put your order in because really, um, 
you know, if he starts getting busy with these, the price would probably go up. And that's just what I think. But I think this is an incredible knife, especially for the money. It's unbelievable. Here's the Frank Bowie right here on my bull leather belt from Battle Boy. <laughs> Great belt combination with this holster. And uh, one thing I would like to do is, is get a tie-down here. I need to get a leather tie-down. But uh, just a great looking holster, great set. Has this speed release with the spring. Pull out the knife. Ready to go camping or zombie killing. One of the projects that I have on my property is building a path down to a creek right down here, a pretty large creek. And then we're gonna put a, build a camping area just, uh, just for fun. Clear it out. There's a, it's sort of a path as well right now, but the one thing about it is this is really going to come in handy, uh, even much better than an axe, because you have such a good surface here for cutting, especially small limbs, but much better than a machete because of that spine right there. The spine is a quarter inch, so it really has a lot of heft to the blade. Uh, one of the things too is this tang as you can see it goes all the way down and then it takes a little bit of a taper but not a whole lot there is a small place right here when you grab it to give your thumb a place to rest and then with the finger grooves as well but this is the kind of knife that you're not necessarily just going to put up this knife is made to use it's a bush knife it's a great survival knife and, uh, you know, if you're buying something just to put away and to, to admire all the times, you know, there are a few tool marks right in here, but that just makes it that much easier to put that thing to the test, which we're going to do. You know, when you're down clearing out an area like this, of course, we've got some logs and stuff behind here. There is somewhat of a dam here that I'm going to be fixing later. But uh, really having a knife when you're out clearing and doing, it's just an invaluable tool. Great for cutting firewood. Also for splitting. I'll tell you what, this wood right here is hard as a rock. I'm telling you, this is awesome. <laughs> Ready for camping. Doesn't take just a minute. We've got firewood. One of the most important parts about getting outside and using your different tools, such as this Frank Bowie, something that's really something you hand down. I mean, it's just a quality knife. And it doesn't take just a minute to get enough firewood to, to light a nice fire. And um, this is Little Such. And uh, for those of you who wonder about my channel, I've been calling him Such since he was just a little guy. And uh, so really, I'm Such Jr., for those of you who don't know. But that's where my name came from. But um, to be honest with you, Frank sent this knife because I had mentioned that Seth really loved this knife, that he just loved it as soon as he saw it on his website. So 
Frank said, I'll tell you what, I'm going to send you this knife. And he said, you can do a review on it. And he said, but when you finish, he said, you give it to Seth. Yeah, really. What do you think? Awesome. <laughs> Why don't you tell Frank thank you? Thank you. You need to check out the Frank Bowie. I'm telling you, it is one of the most incredible knives I have ever had in my possession uh, until just now, which I handed it down. But, um, anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. I've got a whole bunch of knives, but this is the best ever. <laughs>